Hello everyone, this is Chris and today is a very, very exciting day. Yes, today we are finally starting to see the first introductions of the 1.18 generation and a bunch of other types of things like that. And if you're as excited as me to check out these brand new types of things, then like, subscribe, etc. But yeah, what's actually been changed inside of this, uh, this one new experimental beta? Well, basically, the entire world has uh, essentially changed in some way because now as this one beta, every single biome now generates them um, much more smoothly and much more uh, realistic than usual. To put it simply, there's basically a change in where when going from one biome to another, there's a much, much better transition. And also because, you know, we are expecting the, uh, the new mountains and stuff, that means that every single um, biome pretty much inside this update got way way more uh hilly take this one humongous uh, mesa batlands biome which um usually at the highest peak would go maybe to uh to y maybe 100 now goes all the way up to what is this 180 190 or something like that and yeah this is just one example of many there are essentially every single biome now has the ability to uh to generate as an absolutely massive uh mountain i'm not exactly sure like the limit on um how high some of these um some of these non-mountain biomes can go but it looks as though it got around about um 64 extra blocks of pike right there um i'm not exactly sure if that's the cap or not i've not had a uh, enough time to uh, to test this out yet but yeah essentially every single biome every single Thing you were to expect inside of your your minecraft world has gotten just a little bit more hilly and in case you're perhaps uh, worried that there'd be too many hills from the looks of things like they're not too incredibly common there seems to be um quite a decent amount of a uh, flat land but just every now and then you will see um some pretty absolutely magnificent mountains from the biomes also, from the looks of things, because there is so much uh, technical things that's happening, it looks like if you have a slightly less powerful device, like uh, the phone I'm recording on right now, it looks like your uh, your render distance has been limited a little bit. So now I can only uh, show 10 chunks right now. Not exactly sure if that'll stick or not, but uh, as of right now, uh, your render distance has been slightly lowered. But not only has the surface changed with all the uh, the mega mountains with every single biome, there's also been plenty of different changes to do with the, uh, the underground. One of the first one and most uh, obvious ones is now the fact that there is um dry cave opening entrances. Um, this one isn't quite the best example, but basically now um you actually have um proper cave entrances to get inside of them um, inside these big noisy caves rather than uh, just water entrances. Okay, here's a much much better example. So now you can see that there is actual proper entrances to some of these absolutely mega massive caves that goes a uh, very very far down this one goes almost all the way down to the uh, to the very bottom of the world so um, yeah in case you do want to get yourself some um some proper cave entrances to some of these mega caves then now you uh now you have the ability to do it one thing i found on the surface was this tiny tiny mesa biome which um it hasn't been listed on the changelog that i saw but basically in 1.18 they are planning on adding um microbiomes and i think this is a uh, one of the one of the poorer examples of a microbiome right here but it looks like inside this beta it, that has a, that has been introduced and if you're worried before that we weren't going to get enough type of a uh, cave differences and stuff then um don't worry because as of this uh, as of this one beta there's been quite a decent amount of different types of a uh, cave generation differences for example, we now have the ability to find um, noodle caves, which are these very long stretches of, um, of I guess, cave-like uh, generations, which are relatively thin, and um, obviously that is not one of them. But um, as of this one video, you can find some pretty uh, thin types of uh, caves. Um, excuse me, tree, but I don't think this is quite the, uh, quite the place you're supposed to be at. Um, this is kind of illegal, isn't it? Or more than likely broken, which um, is kind of expected being inside of an experimental beta. But something that isn't broken is the fact that inside this beta, there's also been different types of uh, cave biomes. Being, um, I can't remember the other uh, names of them, but basically there's cave uh, cave biomes or cave um, caves where you could find an abundance of different types of, of, of ores. Being iron caves, aura, or copper caves. Now, I can't say for certain, but this might be what they're talking about. Um, 
Probably not, probably not, but something else that they are talking about is, um, larger ore veins. So now you have the ability of finding, um, much, much larger amounts of ores in one particular area. Maybe like this, um, this huge copper vein, or maybe, um, another huge iron vein, which we see right here. Yeah, basically, this is just to, uh, just to add much, much more a strategy to when you go mining. I keep talking about the cave generation while forgetting a whole bunch of, um, overworld or, a, um, surface generation because this thing right here, I believe, is a lake. Yeah, uh, lakes have now gotten significantly wider and significantly, uh, bigger. I guess to just, again, to be, uh, much more realistic and, yeah. This feels much more like a uh, much more like a river you'd might be able to uh, to find in real life, and it just gives um that much more variety when finding actual when finding actual lakes going around your world. And honestly, even though a lot of this stuff isn't finished, I am I am just having so much fun just looking around, seeing all these types of things. So in case you want to see like a separate video of me just exploring uh, different types of worlds, just seeing new types of a uh, generation, see like what the world looks like now as opposed to a 1.17 then uh let me know down below in the comments because i would love to do a video like that but yeah for now thanks for watching and i'll see you all later